Body condition scoring is a way to assess the body energy stores in beef cattle. For management purposes, evaluating body condition should be done for all types of animals, including bulls, heifers, steers, or cows. Body condition impacts several areas of production, including reproduction and progeny performance. Specifically for cows, body condition should be evaluated at least four times a year. This would include 90 days prior to calving, at calving, the start of the breeding season, and at calf weaning. Body condition scores for beef cattle are evaluated on a one to nine scale. A body condition score of one represents an emaciated, physically weak animal with the spine and ribs showing and no body fat. On the other end of the scale, a score of nine represents an animal that is overconditioned with no visible spine, ribs, hooks or pins, and excessive fat in the brisket and tailhead region. Optimum body condition is in the middle of the scale with a score of five. When evaluating body condition, there are six physical attributes to assess to determine the score. The first three areas include the spine, ribs, hooks, and pins. These are evaluated to determine how visible they are. More coverage on these areas indicate more body fat and increases the body condition score. Next, we evaluate the tail head and the brisket. These areas are evaluated for fat deposition. Again, more fat deposited in these areas increases the body condition score. Finally, muscling is assessed to determine if there is atrophy of the muscle, no muscle present, or if the animal has full muscling. When looking at muscle versus fat, remember that muscle will have tone, while fat will have a smooth appearance. The table on the scoring guide is a great quick reference when assessing body condition score. Along the top, each of the six physical attributes to evaluate are listed. Under each of those, for the respective 1 to 9 score, list what's expected to be seen. For example, when evaluating the spine, if the spine is not visible, the animal is at least in a body condition score of 5, depending on other areas to evaluate. If no ribs are visible, the animal is at least in a body condition score of 6. When we evaluate the hooks and pens, if they are visible, we'll be looking at a body condition score of somewhere between a 1 and a 6. Looking at either the tail head or the brisket, if there's fat accumulating in these areas, the animal's in a body condition score of at least six. When looking at muscle, a body condition score of four or greater has full muscling. Now let's take a look at a few examples of how to body condition score beef cattle while talking through each attribute on the guide. Let's start with the spine. On this female, the spine is visible. We can see it on both the top line as well as the individual transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae that's located between the ribs and the pelvis. Based on the evaluation of the spine, this female will score somewhere below a five. Evaluating the ribs and if they are visible or not, this is where something such as hair coat can change how the condition looks on the animal. If there is excess hair, you can manually palpate the rib cage to determine the coverage of fat. If we look closely, we can see through the hair that some of the ribs are in fact visible, so this cow is still somewhere below a score of five. As we look at the hooks and the pins, on this female, they're visible, and there's no fat cover over the hooks as they appear sharp. Now looking at the tail head, it's hollow surrounding this area, and this female has no fat stored here. In the brisket area, there's no fat filling in this area. Now finally, when we evaluate her muscling, she does have full muscling, so she's in a body condition score of four. Let's look at another example. As we evaluate this female, we look over her top line. The spine is not visible. We can also look right between the ribs and the pelvis, and the transverse processes are covered. This female is in at least a body condition score of five. As we evaluate the ribs, there's no ribs that are visible this female moves to at least a body condition score of six. Now, as we look at the hooks and the pins, they are visible, although they are not sharp, meaning they do have some fat cover. Looking at the tail head, this female has started to deposit some fat around her tail head. Moving to her brisket, there is some fat filling in the brisket. She has full muscling, and we can see that there is tone versus just total fat cover over the muscle. This female scores a six for body condition. Let's look at one more example. Starting with the spine, the spine is not visible on this female, so we are at least at a body condition score of five. As we evaluate the ribs, notice this female is carrying a winter hair coat still, and that can influence how visible the ribs are. However, on this female, even without the hair, 
her ribs are not visible. This moves this female to at least a body condition score of six. Now, as we look at the hooks and the pins, they are visible, although they are not sharp. So again, they do have some fat cover. We can tell this female has a little more cover over her hooks and pins than the previous female we evaluated. Now, looking at the tail head, this female is carrying fat in that area. We can see that each side is filled in and it does not appear hollow. Now, looking at her brisket, there is fat deposited. And as you look up her neck, you can also see that fat is there as well. She has full muscling. This female scores a seven for body condition. There are guidelines to follow when collecting body condition scores to submit to the American Angus Association. Body condition needs to be evaluated on the dam within 45 days before or after her calf weaning, and the weaned calf must also be reported. In addition, a mature weight on the dam must also be submitted. Body condition and mature weights on females can be recorded and submitted annually. While optional, it is recommended to also record a hip height on the dam. As with all subjective traits, such as body condition scoring, it is important to have the same person score all females in a group to maintain consistency among scores. Evaluating body condition can be a challenge due to a variety of factors, such as a winter hair coat, weather conditions, temperature, or even the gut fill of an animal. Assessing body condition can be done visually or by manual palpation of areas, such as the ribs or the spine. Having the scoring guide provided by the American Angus Association is a good quick reference tool to determine a female's body condition score. If you have questions, contact the Performance Programs Department at the American Angus Association. Thank you for your commitment to education and pursuit to advance the Angus breed.